No, no, I wasn't. Well, we were near the merchant. Hello. How are you? Maynard here with an invisible CD of the Castanet Club. And that's what it's all about here. Because on this bit of paper that the Lord Mayor issues to me every time before the start of the show, I'm going to tell you what is on almost live at the Castanet Club tonight. We've got, uh, what do you do with a metre of bunting? Well, Emma Bunting from the Spice... No, sorry, it's Emma, not Emma... Bu well, yeah, well, look, there's going to be talk of bunting. And there was a time in Newcastle where there was one business that just sang... Well, they did colourful triangular bunting. That was all they sold. All they sold. And uh, wasn't it at a simpler time? I miss those times. But you're not going to miss this show because you're watching it right now, almost live from the Castanet Club. <laughs> a lot of people come up to me and they go, bunting! And I say, well, why not? And we've got Emma here from the Newcastle Museum. Head bunter, how are you? I am good. Look Bunker. at this. You're thinking, what's bunting got to do with the Castanet Club? Well, Jody and everyone involved with the Castanet Club love the bit of bunting. Now, obviously, what we've got here is plastic bunting. But back uh, at the turn of the 17th century, when the Castanet Club was around and when bunting was first invented, it was mainly stitched canvas. But this is much brighter and a lot less recyclable. So tell us what you've got here. So Look. you're going to receive some bunting. It's going to celebrate. Everyone you might does. as well do things to it. I mean, you could just put it around your pot plants. Uh, if you want to be highly entertained, um, yet deal with something incredibly angry, sellotape it to your cat. Um, but I don't suggest it. So we've come up with more ideas to do with your bunting. Yes, there's a European film director, Goatee, the Zonta look, as was very popular with the Castanets. And I, I think that people with the, the nice warmer weather coming up with the um, European uh, bikini look as well, thank you very much. Wow. I'd like to just show the... Uh... See, it, it's not rude at all, but yet somehow it seems that it's a touch ribald, is the word I would use. I just needed it. It covers... It covers what it needs to cover. That's true, yeah. Right. Go bar beach any time during summer, you'll find that so out. So you can chuck your bunting up. You can put it around, but really you can cut it up and do other things with it as well. Um, and so, like Maynard, I sometimes have trouble remembering your name, so just let me fix this up. Look, you're not the only one. I have a hell of a time with it as well, you know. Mm -hmm. People go, and what's the second half? Well, you go, well, nard. Oh, so it's Maynard, yeah. Like oh, that. no. Yeah, oh, that it's all right. I kind of fit it in. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah, there you there go. There you go. It's good. And it's a name tag. And because it's non-recyclable, just wipe it off and away you go. You meet someone else, you can make them a name tag as well. Later on, if you're going to start drinking and you feel a bit dribbly, you can move your name tag over to the middle and then mm. just give it a quick wipe down. You're going to be fine with all of that. If your cat's kind of old and losing a lot of its energy, that can work as a cat flap. But a normal cat will just rip right through it. But if you've got an older one, it's a bit slow, it might work as a modern cat flap. There's just an idea as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, I so if uh, cat biscuits, now I don't know why we got onto cats. I was about to go for birth control, you. but that's completely different. Oh, right? actually, no, that's going to be too small. Yeah, but no. anywho, and it's got holes. If you want, you can take your little bunting and you can have your little biscuits in there while you're watching all of the cats. Biscuit bunting. It's biscuit bunting, it's not bad at all. So mm. we've got that. That's a good one. I feel like I've got my ears on and, and you're not wearing anything, well, apart from that little yamulka, but uh, I reckon we need to make something too. So what colour bunting would you like? Oh, let's go with some red. I, I, I kind of like the socialist red. Now, is there any issue with cutting the bunting? No. Oh, good. Okay. I just want to say that because no one said that on television before. Cutting <laughs> the bunting. And by the way, if you are a communications officer on a ship, you would often be known as the bunts. I'm sure that never goes wrong. And of course, uh, bunt is also uh, German for colourful. And that's where they think they maybe got it from. Because everyone knows the Germans, they're just all about being festive. Now I'm thinking of the cake. Oh, the cake. Bunt, yes. bunt cake? Yeah, really? Bunt, bunt, bunt. Okay, you're not just saying that for a bet on television, eh? Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, Now, this is being made into a crown. Well, how big's your head? Good question. Um, I don't know. I'm a size eight. Shoe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 not very often come on and says, oh, what's your hat size? Because I've got some bunting I want to put around it. It looks great. Now, this is completely safe for children because it involves non-safety scissors and sharp staples. So just feel free to knock yourself out. I don't think that anybody should be stapling directly onto the head. Okay. It's, it's more about sitting on top of it rather than stapling into the head. Don't, right. don't okay. do that. And also don't mistake this as some sort of uh, support of royalty or something if you've got some issues with that whole thing because it's not. We're just making a crown as you should. Think of it as uh, maybe it's a, a, a Burgermeister crown, a crown or something like that. Burgermeister? Burgermeister, my favourite hamburger chain. 
Yeah. Oh, right. look at that! Now, it might be... Oh, that's actually not too bad. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that, people. Look Don't at this. Don't tell the him. Slightly jestery. It's okay. All right, right then. So, now, you know. Now, now, is there anything else, else that we haven't done with the bunting that we, you can probably think of anything? Well, I mean, you see, oh. I'm sick of people <gasps> stealing my alcohol and pretending it's theirs and, you know, all that kind of stuff as well. So, I've made my own little bunting. You know, this is my drink. This is my drink. Don't take my drink. And believe, if you've taken that effort to put that on your drink, no one is going to touch your glass, particularly in the middle of a national pandemic as well. That's really not going to happen. Um, um, I, I think that's just about it, really. This yep. is fantastic. And, of course, you know, this sort of stuff is used. It's really easy when you're actually out there on stage to have this behind you. It all comes up. And, oddly enough, we never had much of a trouble with it falling down. Um, but this is very slippery, so you might have it. And if you've got a group, you just wind it up and it can do outdoor gigs, indoor gigs, home gigs, private gigs, kids' parties. It works for everything there, bunting. And I think, as I mentioned before, there was a Newcastle bunting specialist it was called Sheldon's or something like that, which doesn't really rhyme with anything, so I don't know why it was called that. But uh, the, again, imagine a time where your sole thing was just selling flowers. You're a flags. bunting specialist. A bunting specialist. How could you be a bunting specialist? It's the kind of thing you'd say to someone at a party. You, they certainly wouldn't run away, or maybe they would. Anyway. Well, look, <laughs> look, thank you. We've got. Uh, let's get a look and see how much bunting you can spot in the background now on the Castanet Club. I think it's from the Sydney Trade Union Club with Lance Norton in December 1984 singing It's Not Unusual. He does a great job. The rest of the band, of which I was a member, I really can't vouch for, but mm. see how you go. The Castanet Club from 1984. Yeah, I think they're in the book as well somewhere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please now lend your hearts and your ears to the wood flute of Mr. Tron Wexner. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. <laughs> but when I see you hanging about with anyone, It's not unusual to see me cry. I want to die.
now we've got something pretty special here. The Nutbush Seating Limits. Doing their version of The Legend of Xanadu. Not to be confused with the fantastic movie of almost the same name. Can't stop the music. No, Xanadu. That's what I was thinking of there. So there's no roller skates in this, but there might as well be because it's an original song from the late 60s, I think. Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Tish. So look that up, and it's quick, actually quite a fun. They're quite a fun band, the old Dave Lee, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Tish, but a lot harder to say than the Nutbush Seating Limit. So enjoy their version of The Legend of Xanadu. It's a song of heartbreak. It's a song of just carrying on about nothing. Now to work, cabaret performer, get some sleep. Oh, hello, hello. We'll be back. 
with a whole bunch of other stuff coming your way. I think we've got some lamington making there and all sorts of things that no one's bothered to tell me because I'm not the kind of person who needs to know. I think it's called plausible deniability in the uh, States. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Be back for almost not the thing that's a castanet club <laughs> when we'll be right here doing our thing. Now can I get some bloody sleep? Sorry for the strong language there. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Casamets! We got one!